GPT AI powers AutoWriter is one of its most powerful features. This allows you to almost completely automate the content creation and posting on your website, and it's super easy to set up. First, you need to add a server-sided cron job. This has to be a server-sided cron job and not a WordPress cron job, or it will not work. There are three or four ways you can accomplish this. I'll show you each of these methods starting with the easiest. And the easiest way to do this starts with cPanel. Once you're at cPanel, go down to the Advanced tab and then click Cron Jobs. Copy your website specific code shown to you in your GPT AI Power Bulk Editor tab and paste it into the command line in cPanel. Here you likely won't have to paste the asterisks, but rather add them into each respective time variable setting. And you should note, some cPanel users have to put the full path of PHP, for example, slash user slash bin slash PHP. If you can't use cPanel due to your hosting, the next method to add cron jobs to your server is with terminal. To do this, open up a terminal window and type in the code cron tab e. This will open a text editor where you can enter the cron job configuration. You'll need to copy paste the command from your bulk editor page, starting with the asterisks. As the asterisks are by default, this will run the bulk feature of the plugin every minute. However, you can customize the schedule by changing the timing values as shown on the screen. Save and close this file. The cron job will be automatically added. Now wait a couple of minutes and refresh your page again. You'll see a notification message at the top that says, Great, it looks like your cron job is running properly. You should now be able to use the bulk editor. This message means everything went well and you can now use the bulk editor. If you aren't able to set up cron jobs with cPanel or Terminal, you should have access to Plex. This is how you can add a cron job with this tool. Some hosting providers like Cloudways don't permit running cron jobs with arguments. In these cases, you're going to need to create a separate PHP file and invoke that PHP file from the cron job. You can utilize the provided sample. Ensure that you place it in your root folder. Now that you've added your GPT AI Power's primary cron job, it's time to use your bulk editor. If you're on the free version, you'll be limited to five titles at a time, however, it still functions the same as here. Let's get started. First, I'm going to type in the titles on the left and choose when I want to schedule the post and what category I want it posted in. I can even change the author, but I'll leave that default. Next, I can choose the tags I'd like it to add to the articles, specific keywords I want it to include, important keywords for it to avoid using, and then I can add a call to action with anchor text and target URLs. I'm going to repeat this for each of the five articles I'd like it to create. And then I'm going to click Generate. Now once you've clicked Generate, you can go to the Q tab at the top and it will show you all of your pending articles. Once GBT AI Power is done with the article, the status will change to Completed, and you'll see how long it took on this task, the amount of tokens it used, and the word count of the finished product. Next, we're going to look at how to use GPT AI Power with CSV files. First, you're going to want to upload your titles to a CSV file. This is typically just going to be a notepad document with the title separated by commas. When you're saving your CSV file, you might have to type in .csv at the end of the extension for it to save properly. Once you choose file and you upload the CSV file, just click import. If it works successfully, it should take you to the Q tab and it'll show you your pending articles. Next, I'm going to show you how to use GPT AI Power with the copy paste tab. Navigate to copy and paste at the top of GPT AI Power. Once you're here, you should see a big text box for all of your titles. Now this is kind of similar to the CSV file, except you don't want commas in here. You're going to want each title on its own line. Once you've pasted your titles into the text box, click Generate, and it should navigate you to the Q tab. Like before, once you're in the Q tab, you can see the status of your posts, as well as the word count and the token count. And finally, if your GPT AI Power queue is ever stuck, you should see this button here at the top called Force Refresh, and it'll restart your queue for you. If you'd like to learn how to use the new feature for GPT AI Power using Google Sheets, click here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on how to use this feature, please comment down below.